three. Introducing Anybody's wearing, so I'm not going to comment on it. Katie was supposed to wrestle Jordan Grace, but a death in the family has left Grace and Jonathan Gresham both unable to appear. Katie Arquette go one on one with Jinx, but Katie feels she is the uncrowned IWC Women's Champion. A number of months ago, it looked like she had won the championship before the decision was ultimately reversed. herself bloody adorable she's got two sides to her a sweet sensitive friendly side but uh, when those toxins when those chemicals become a little bit too imbalanced we see a much more ugly much more unpredictable side of the bloody adorable one and I feel it's worth noting that bloody is the first word in the description not the adorable Almost that, that dark side tends to slip out, sometimes a little easier than others. You think we'll get that side here tonight, knowing that if Jinx could knock off Katie, she may put herself in line for an IWC Women's title shot? I'm just saying, if anyone can, uh, can mix up your chemicals in your head, it's Calvin Couture. <laughs> can we read into that a lot of ways, but moving oh! on. Jinx exploding out of the corner to start this thing out. Oh. Of course, reigning IWC Women's Champion, Britt Baker, shrouding the country, representing IWC and herself very well. But uh, Katie Arquette feels that she's being ducked and avoided, and that Britt has not uh, held up to her end of the bargain back home. Your comment, Jay Wolf. Uh, uh, where is Britt Baker again? Is there... She's not here, if that's what you're alluding to. Yeah, I think it's rather obvious she's not here. I, I don't know that Katie Arquette's wrong. Britt Baker might be duck ducking her. Look at Jake. Jinx ain't ducking anybody. Somersault sent on into all three. Is the last we saw Jinx at the uh, at the reset button? With, with Jackson Argos? Yes. I believe so, at least in this oh. building. Oh, right, come on, Calvin. Calvin and Manda. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that was a long time coming. The entourage did. Paid the price, but got the job done. Katie Arquette back on top. Who's unbalancing whose chemicals now? There's a cover for two. Katie feels that she should be the centerpiece of the division, the star of the show. All eyes on her. Hard to argue with uh, some of her efforts. Of course, uh, who could forget her cage match with Lufisto a year ago at this event? Exactly. I mean, she's here doing the work. Put beating the people that, that we put in front of her. She makes a very valid argument. Why do Calvin and Elijah have like geisha fans out here? It's part of the theme. What's the theme? I'm annoying? I, I have, you'll have to ask them. I don't want to mispronounce it. I'd rather not, oh, hip attack. Jinx in a bad way, Katie the aggressor. Cover here, she cut on it. If Katie's victorious, does she deserve a shot against Britt? Absolutely. She already deserves a shot against Britt. Suplex coming up. I feel that if anything, it's already her shot. It's just her shot to lose. Could be. Katie and Jinx debuted at, uh, what, there's a cover there. Two count only. Debuted at, uh, 
proving ground over a year ago. Proving ground coming up uh, around the pike next month, I do believe, as uh, we welcome our next crop of IWC Young Talent, the Young Talent Initiative. Ooh. And Katie sends Jinx to the outside. These two had uh, came up together in training. They've been parallels in IWC since. Katie's gotten more tension, but I think Jinx maybe resents that a bit. Well, I mean, I think oh, a lot wow. of people resent, resent Katie Arquette. Proving her right. When you're the when you're the centerpiece, when you're main stage, all the understudies want you to fail. Cover for two. So you'd go as far as to label Jinx as Katie's understudy. Would you consider Jinx to have reached the level of Katie Arquette? Not yet, but certainly a victory here to change that. What are we arguing about? You agree with me, and you still want to fight me on this. Jinx will do Jinx will rise up in the stature if she beats someone of the stature of Katie Arquette. Well, there's a power slam, a sliding clothesline. That can happen right now. Jinx a near fall. A win against Katie Arquette is a big notch in your belt, Joe. Well, Katie put the brake side to get violently hurled towards the corner, able to save herself, but Jinx follows through. And you can just sense the unpredictability escalate when Jinx is in control. I don't know that in control is the right term to use with Jinx at the moment. On offense? The, uh, okay, I'll give you that qualifier, but as of right now, the fact that her, her sole verb... Well, there's Mandime. Just, ah, ah, ah. There goes Mandime. And Jinx is going to take a chance. Oh, Calvin. Calvin trips up Jinx. Come on. It's three on one out here, by the by. It is. And Katie up top. What is this? Elevated. Oh! Fall away slam. Jinx sent more than halfway across this ring. Jinx is to her feet, though. Oh, God! Yeah, Jinx was to her feet. It beat Honey Badger a month ago, and it puts away Jinx tonight. The winner's contest, the queen of the silver screen, Katie Arquette! Katie Arquette, another emphatic victory. What's going through the mind of Britt Baker once she gets wind of this? She has to be worried. Like I said, it's already Katie Arquette's shot. It's just when does Britt Baker show up to let her take it? George Grace might have something to say about that once she gets back. Well, let's hear from the uh, star of the show, self-described. Katie Arquette pointed out, Britt Baker not here. 